Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Lonnie at Grace Blossoms for you. And this is my label box. It's in a shambles because yesterday I was cleaning up and I found all these fitzes of paper and I need to do something with them and I just figured maybe we could work on this together. So I'm going to pull out some things out of this box to make labels with and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, so I picked out some things and I also want to pick some other papers that I had just laying around. I thought we could use different backgrounds. Um, I'll start with this one here that I have. I cut this off the end of this thing that I printed and I was thinking it would make a nice background for one of those really thin labels. Something smaller, like so. And then you can ink around the small strip. So how are you guys doing today? How's your week going? So I don't want them quite as wide as that was, so just trimming it. Sometimes I round the corners too, just use the tiny, the smallest edger here. I won't do that for all of them. And then I do want to ink the edges. Okay, so you, if you're like me, you have a bunch of things hanging around that you've printed out and you haven't found a use for, or they end up like scraps in a heap. That's what a lot of this was. Um, this was a tree that I had kind of sketched now it, it's on label shape, but it really needs to be backed onto something. So I was thinking, um, just something I have laying around here. I don't know, music paper. Sometimes you have scrapbook paper that doesn't look very nice. Probably would want to, that's not quite wide enough. I have some cardstock. That would look okay. So then just trim off a piece. I know, such a profound idea, right? Getting rid of scraps and making labels. But you may as well use what you've printed out. I mean, many times I print something out and then it doesn't work out quite the way I envisioned it. But that doesn't mean we can't use it for something else. So I guess we are repurposing fitzes of paper today and making something useful. All right, so then I had stamped 
on some book page. And it's pretty much complete. It just needs like a border or something. I may have decoupaged it with napkin as well. Or I may have stamped on the napkin and then put it on the book page. Because it looks, it feels a little sturdier. It doesn't feel like thin book page. So that one doesn't take much. It says, just thinking of you. It's not the greatest impression, but you can still make it out. Then if you have a logo, and I printed a whole bunch out at one point, and I never did anything with them. So you can pick something and back it. I've got some craft colored cardstock laying around here as well. Even little pieces like that, you could write a number on it and it could become a tiny label. I don't usually use the very tiny ones, I find them fiddly, but at the same time, sometimes it's nice to have. Okay, so that's four. Then I've got this, um, I like to use hem titles. Now this one is actually on a thin cardstock. I don't think it really needs a backing. So it can just be a word strip. And these are word strips too, but they're just on copy paper. So they, to me, they need a little more something behind them. Now, this is an image sewed onto a piece of background and I cut it out with decorative scissors. And I think this would make a nice label. And You could put some words on it. I don't know which direction it goes. I don't know if it matters. You could put words on there. I don't want to right now, but that could be a label all in its own. Um, I took a bunch of small images and sewed them onto a backing mostly so I wouldn't lose them, and two, it was really easy just to go down the line and do a whole bunch. Then when I come to use it, or prepare it, I just trim it out. Now I could have used my decorative scissors for that too, I didn't think of it, but hang on, I'd want my postcard looking ones. I know, I think I, there's something about the postcard looking ones that I really like. And here I'm inking both at the same time, nice. So there's that, it looks like a sound postcard, but it could be like a label, not postcard, stamp, sorry. Um, Okay, so that's that. I'll do the rest later. Then I had this little piece of um, cross stitch uh, catalog. Just a little corner piece. And I was thinking 
this would make something interesting. Maybe not exactly a label, but why not? People use all sorts of things. Spy hopping orcas. That's the name of the picture. All right, so then I just need background piece. How about some music paper? I have some laying around. And yeah, I could tear that, but I won't right now. I just want to ink that first. Or I could put it on dark paper, then it would have like a contrast. Yeah, I think that will work better. Could be like a topper on a pocket or something. So here's um, something that I had printed out. I just punched it out with a circle punch. And I'm going to ink it. And there, that's ready to go. Two of them. Okay, here's a dictionary thing. Um, definition. This was on Shabby Dabby Duda's website. It was free, but it, the way it printed, it didn't have a border or anything. It just had a light color in the back, so it needed a little something. I printed it out on a little bit thicker paper, so this is the definition for family. People linked together by common ancestors or people who are bonded together by love. So there's that one. Then I had printed this out from Creative Fabrica. It says, Be the Light, Matthew 5, verse 14. And so this too can be a label. Or a focal point. I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter. We're cleaning up and we're making stuff, so. Alright, so this was another stamp. And we're coming up on fall, so it would be perfect. So it can be seasonal, but it can also be a year-round sentiment. And it's kind of funny because yesterday I had a whole bunch of paper hanging around. Okay, I think I found some. Here, I was gonna use this for a pocket but I ended up not liking it. So this on there would look nice. mass make obviously I mean we're, it's what we're doing and it's not a difficult thing 
it just means you have to be willing to get some things out and maybe clean up some other things. All right, so here I thought we could use this as a background as well. Um, how about just because? Um, I still have to sort through my labels, I guess, because they're just in a big box. In fact, all my stuff seems to be heading and moving into boxes because the drawers, the little tiny drawers I had originally are now too small. So I need a place. I thought if I put them in boxes, at least I'll be able to sift through them and find things. That remains to be seen. I have to label my boxes because I have so many now that I'm having to check, okay, what box is this? So that's quite nice. And um, let's see. This is from a jelly print. Just a little piece of leftover something. And I was thinking that would make a nice background also if it's large enough and it is so if you haven't seen it yet on my ko-fi ko coffee page I have some free printables and I believe well I know there's word strips there I think these are from those. So if you haven't been there yet, go check it out. Okay. So these are the leaves that I painted with coffee the other day. I think this one is fine to use by itself because it's on thick paper so so this can be used as a tuck as well or a focal point you could still put a word strip on it like I don't know something like that you could easily make clusters with these little pieces easily Okay, what else we got here? Oh, one more leaf from another time. Okay, something like that. And that's coming apart. Wouldn't be a big deal. I mean, I didn't, I forgot it had a backing. That's okay. Alrighty. So something like that. I'll do those on my own time. You get the idea. As far as this one, you could stamp something or just write something. I don't know, just writing the first thing that came into my head. Number 393. Why not? Not everything has to mean something. And something might mean something to someone else and you might not know it. So 
And do that with this one too. I know, we'll do a hashtag on this one. There we go. Hashtag love. And of course, to be inked. So yeah, we got a lot done today. And that didn't take very long, right? So that's what we got for today. Hope you enjoyed that and got some ideas or a reminder of something. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.